Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to another, another, another episode of The Audition with you boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. I am your boy, yes God I am, the ha -ha, Sebastian Alexander Bonet. Um, first off, make sure that you subscribe to this video um, and, you know, follow me on all the places, Twitter, Instagram, Kick, all that good stuff. Um, hopefully, everything is going well with you all. Hopefully, everything is going right within the world um, that you are living in. Um, everything is great over here, man. Um, just chilling. Um, today is October 1st, baby. October 1st, 2013. It is. Ah! <laughs> it is my, the official month of the doll's birth, baby. The doll came out of my mother's vagina. Um, October 26, 1980, honey. The doll will be 33, 33, 33 years old this year. And this is what 33 looks like. I isn't she fabulous? Isn't she everything? Isn't she simply sickening? Yes, she is. Um, so, um, I am, I'm getting feedback off of my glasses. Um, so, I am excited. I am going to Atlanta, as I always do, for Mr. and Mrs. Black Universe. Um, and so I'll be there for four or five days, and I am loving, 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 loving it. Um, so, I've been away for a moment. Um, and you see I'm coming from a special place. I am in my boudoir. I'm in my bed. I am slightly tired. I didn't have to work today as far as substitute teaching. And, um... I cleaned up the house. I did some work for some clients. I went to the gym, and this body is looking chopped. Get it? Hold on. Let me make sure I can show you. Make sure. Even though I need to shave this. 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 See, it doesn't look right. My body does not look right when I'm laying on my bed. Cause, honey, remember that episode of Golden Girls, honey, when Dorothy was explaining to Blanche, "When you're on your back, honey, everything kind of falls in between your arms, honey." Uh, and that's how it is, but baby, when mother sits up, when mother stands, this chest is everything. I hate the way it looks on my back, but I love being on my back. Yes, God, I do. <laughs> yes, God, I do. Uh, but, you know, the purpose of this is, honestly, to tell you all, to take time for yourself. Let us, you said it best, you gotta take time. To get away, free your mind and fly away. Oh, take time to get away, free your mind and fly away. Hey, sometimes the days feel so long. No, I'm not going to. Okay, anyways. But um, what has been going on with me is that I have been, and I'm using my camera phone because I don't feel like getting out my camera, my regular camera. Um, I have been extremely tired lately um, because I have literally, for the month of September, have been doing 16-hour days. Um, literally, like every day except the weekend. And then being away on the, um, on the weekends for, for photography, working with clients. So I have been extremely busy. Making that paper, don't get me wrong, I am grateful and I am blessed and I am stacked. Um, but it takes a toll on your body. So I'm, I'm saying this to say for those persons that, that, that get their hustle on, that grind like I do, that just work hard. Point of Sister Sonny, not point of, but Di Donna Summers. She work hard for the money. Ow, ow, ow. I serve hard for it, honey. Ow. She work hard for the money, so you better treat her right. Bitch, my titties are shaking. <laughs> Bitch, my titties are shaking. Yes. So, I mean, I work hard for the money. Their money and my money. Um, and so, I have been exhausted. You know, catching sleep where I can. Um, training. I have a trainer that I meet with three times a week trying to get this body right and taught. And um, physically, just physically fit. Living a healthier, more productive uh, life. Um, and what I had to do is literally just say, hey. Today is going to be for me, even if it's a few hours, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you can fit time in to be 
you. No worries, no cares, just even if it's 30 minutes. 30 minutes a day to where you don't hear any kids, where you don't hear any telephone ringing, to where you can get back centered, to get back to your peace, to get back to your joy, to get back to you. And what I've found for me, for working, I have lost me. I have lost who I am as a person. I have lost who I am um, as an individual. I have gotten in this matrix, if you will, of going to work every day, coming home. Just this stagnant pattern of this is what Sebastian does. And, you know, I, I, I'm not knocking it because, you know, I'm blessed to be able to do what I do. I love teaching um, and I love, uh, I love hospitality work. Um, and I love my photography, so I'm blessed to be in careers that I enjoy. But on the flip side, when it comes down to your temple, when it comes down to your body, when it comes down to you breathing, you need that. And so what I have done is I have booked myself on a cruise. Um, in November, I am going on a four-day cruise to the Bahamas, me, myself, and no family, no friends, no one. Because the purpose of this cruise is to get back to me. Get back to who Sebastian is, who Sebastian was, and who Sebastian is going to be in the future. So I'm not taking any laptops. I'm not taking any cell phones. Um, well, I might take my cell phone and take pictures. But that's, that's really about it. I'm going to take two books. I'm going to take... B-Boy Blues by James Earl Hardy. For those of you that have not uh, read any of the, the, the series of B-Boy Blues, baby, get on it. These books, I know, about 20 years old. But, honey, it, 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 Charlie it does so much for my soul. It's, James Earl Hardy is a world-renowned, respected uh, African-American male gay author. And the first book of the series is B-Boy Blues and it's everything. And I'm probably going to take... Ah, uh, who am I going to take? Probably the miseducation of the Negro. Something to feel educated and deep and philosophical. You know, get back to my educational roots, if you will. So one, utter menagerie as far as the, the gayness and the love story that is Raheem and uh, Mitchell and the miseducation of the Negro to get me back to what are we doing wrong as a race, as a African American people. So anyways... I'm going to take those with me, and that's going to be my weekend. It's Thursday to Monday. I'm going to Freeport and Nassau. I'm going to get off and do what I want, whatever it is I want to do, um, and just get back to me. We all have a point to where we feel that we lose ourselves, lose our hopes, lose our dreams, lose everything that is pertinent, everything that is important, everything that is passionate about us. And I think we need to get back to that to that spot. I know for some of you that may have children, it's a little, you know, a little bit more difficult to do that because you're, you, you know, you're a mom and maybe even a wife and all of that good stuff. And you just can't just say, okay, I'm going to drop the kids. You have to do what you have to do. But even like I said, if it's 30 minutes a day to where you tell them little motherfuckers to leave you alone, go in their room, do your homework, don't bother me because I need to get back to me. If I don't get back to me, I'm going to whoop y'all a narrow asses. So, uh, <laughs> So, oh, whatever it takes to get you back to you, that um, my shugs, go ahead and do it. And the reason why, for me, the reason why I booked the cruise is because of this. I've been on two cruises before. And you know where I find the most peace? The most peace ever in my life is honestly when I'm on the cruise ship about 3 o'clock in the morning. I go to the top level of the deck and I look up. And I see just a millions and millions of stars. The moon shining big and bright. It's so peaceful. The air is clear. There's no smog. There's nothing, you know, the pollution of the city. It's nothing like that. It's almost like, you know, when you live in the city and you go to the country, you can tell the difference of the air because it's 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 un it's un it's untam uh uncontaminated, if you will. It's it's fresh, it's free, it's uh, 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 unoppressed 
air, you know, and that's what I love about the cruise ship. You know, I go to the top. Ooh, this bitch, my arm is hurting. Let me switch arms. Um, ooh, ooh child, y'all definitely in. But, um, that's what I enjoy. I go to the top of the cruise ship and I just, I, I breathe. Ultimately, I breathe. I look at the stars. I thank God for his grace, his goodness, and his mercy. Where he has brought me from, where he's taking me to, what I need to prepare for as an individual, what I need to prepare for as far as life, things that I'm weak with, relationships, men that mean me no good. Huh. But for whatever reason, good ass, good dick financially, I let them come back, but still mean me no good. You know, it, it's my time to reflect, my time to say, hey, Sebastian, calm down, boo. Breathe. 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 And for me, I just, bitch, I breathe. <laughs> I breathe and I'm looking forward to it because I am, um, I need it. I need it. 2013 has not, a, has not been a god-awful year by any means. It's been a great year. Uh, but as far as the work that I'm doing and the amount of work that I'm putting in and the time that I'm, oh, oh, excuse me, see, the time that I'm putting in, I just need work. So my babies, my actors and my actresses, what I'm saying to you in the midst of my boudoir and my bed as I lay up, see, I would scroll down and show y'all something, but honey, they ain't going to show it on YouTube. This is more of an X2. Oh. Oh. See that leg? See that? Ooh, that leg. Yes, it's up in the air. How to catch that leg. Uh-huh, I ain't got no clothes on. No. <laughs> yes, bitch. I am stupid. Um, But to my actors and my actresses and my babies, take time. Breathe. We only get one life, so they say. And this is your temple. I think I look good for 33 because I've seen some of my classmates that I went to high school with and college with, baby, and they look like they have had a hard, hard fucking life. And so, honey, I, I make sure, see, honey, no wrinkles. This bald head looks lovely. You know, no blemishes. You know how sometimes the big boys be having them black marks in their cheeks, honey. Ooh, I hate that, honey. I, I, I take care. Take care of the skin. Take care of these teeth. I gotta go to the dentist. I have, I have a couple of things that I need to take care of. Y'all know these front four bitches ain't mine. Uh, but the rest of these hoes are mine. And I need to keep them, you know, because if not, honey, I don't mind snatching all these. As soon as my, stop, my smile start looking fucked up, honey, I don't mind snatching a tooth out, bitch. No, ma'am. Uh -uh, I will snatch all it and have me uh, one more set of pretty chiclet white, bitch. Chiclet white dentures, honey. Damn sure will. Uh-uh. As soon as these start going south, bitch, that's all right. Uh, go ahead and pluck these on that, please. Let me go ahead and get these wonderful chiclets on in. Sure will. So, with that being said, my babies, I am about to get up from here and go cook my turkey burgers. And, um, chillax before it's time for me to go to work. So, once again, for your boy, the, uh, thank you <laughs> for tuning in to another episode of The Audition. With you boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. I uh, am your boy, the Sebastian Alex, 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 Alexander! Ah, thank you, Lord God. Bonet, telling you all to breathe. Take time for yourself. Worship you. Honor you. Just relax. Because we all know what we go through from day to day. Everybody has their trials and tribulations, having their work schedule, having everything that just needs your attention. But don't forget that you need your attention. So rest, relax, release, whatever it is that is hindering you, bothering you, or just pissing you the fuck off. So with that said, babies, know that I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Keep sharing the videos. Keep putting them out there. Let's create positive energy. All that good stuff. I live in the positive. I live in the overflow. And sometimes I live in the fucking mess and menagerie of it all. <laughs> of it all. But other than that, that's really about it. I'm your boy, the Sebastian Alexander Bonet. Thank you all for tuning in to the audition. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace and much love. Bye. Ow, Baba, move! Go on, shit!